Yours me a boy, Shonen Boy, here today, I'm here today to do a review of the latest episode of Attack on Titan, the final episode, let's get straight into this, so if you clicked on this video, you've obviously watched the, uh, you know, episode, and you want to hear my thoughts, and, uh, you, uh, know the, um, what's happened in the episode, and you don't mind about spoilers, because you're gonna get into spoilers, obviously, um, so let's get straight into this in 3, 2, 1, let's go, so, the ending of Attack Attack on Titan is, uh, you know, it's interesting. I did not, um, you know, know it was going to end like that. Um, I uh, did not read the, uh, you know, final chapters of Attack on Titan. I'm an anime-only watcher, um, and I, you know, was, n I, had, I knew the ending a little bit, like I heard bits and pieces of the ending, and that I knew that people weren't very happy with the ending of Attack on Titan, and I was like, oh, okay, I will just wait for it to come out in the anime, and the anime took so long to come to this, um, you know, final conclusion of, like, Attack on Titan. It was split. Um, it was split up into so many parts that I was just like, okay, can you just you know finish it already? Um, but yeah. But I will admit that like uh, you know having watched the uh, you know episode now and uh, in, in its entirety um, and. You know, getting um, the full sort of like ending to Attack on Titan, it's a uh, it's a really good uh, you know episode. I really enjoyed uh, you know seeing the ending of Attack on Titan. Um, it's not um, what I expected, um, but uh, you know it was a lot better than um, you know what I expected um, because like I did um, read the final like you know pages of like the manga after I watched this episode, and I was just like, oh okay, so. Um, you know, and, um, and I've heard some other people's, like, you know, thoughts and, like, reviews of, like, the final episode, and, uh, you know, they say it was a little bit better than the manga, um, and, uh, you know, what happened at the, uh, fi I mean, you know, final pages of the manga, and, uh, you know, and everyone's, like, you know, sort of, like, you know, thoughts on it. And, um, you know, I, um, you know, I'd probably give this a good solid, um, if, um, you know, if I had to give a rating to this episode, I'd probably give it a good solid 8 out of 10, maybe, uh, you know, if I really want to push it, maybe, uh, I wouldn't, uh, maybe 8.5, I really enjoyed the animation art, the animation art for, like, um, for one of these, um, like, for, like, the part where Mikasa, uh, you know, cuts off Eren's, like, head, and, uh, you know, and we also see, uh, you know, um, Levi going in, and all the, uh, you know, all the, um, characters turning into titans and you know just like i really liked um when the action was going on the action was like you know top notch and it was really you know really good and I really enjoyed, uh, you know, seeing all the, uh, you know, um, the flashy animation, and it was really good. Um, the anime, um, like, like I said, the animation art was like, you know, on point, and I really enjoyed, uh, you know, seeing it really pop off. Um, but what I did not like was uh, the, uh, you know, Aaron um, breaking down in front of Armand and telling him about, you know, how he, uh, you know, um, he doesn't want to die, and that he uh, wants Mikasa to not forget about him and he wants to uh, you know for he wants to be with Mikasa and everything like that um, and he said I mean he says he can't be with her because of all the stuff that he's done um, and he, all the people he's killed and everything like that but he still doesn't want um, you know her to I mean he, um, yeah I mean, he still doesn't want her to forget about him and move on. And he uh, breaks down like a little child and, uh, you know, and uh, says all this stuff. And I'm just like, uh, his character is very weird. I don't understand, uh, you know, um, Aaron's character. Um, you know, his character's, like, really changed a lot, um, you know, since, um, you know, season one and what he's gone through until, um, until now. Like, he has changed a lot and, um, you know, he's a very interesting character, but, like, at the very end of it all, it just seems kind of like he did this all for nothing and it just kind of feels like, I don't know, it just doesn't, like, I don't know, um, Aaron's character is very weird and very uh, convoluted and a bit messy, and I think that's the, um, that's what I don't really like about Aaron's character, is that it's very messy, and I don't really like, uh, you know, the messages it's sending um, about his character, and it's just, like, a bit all over the place, and I wish that was, um, it was a bit better. Um, and the other thing that I did not really like is uh, Historia. Historia is a wasted character, I think, I feel like she is just kind of 
prove like I'm happy for her um, that she has a child and she seems you know happy and everything like that but like I feel like they kind of just dropped Historia and just said oh okay I don't really know how to uh, you know make her conclusion seem uh, you know um, good I'm just gonna drop this character and just like you know say that she has a child and she lives out of her last um, you know the, the remainder of her life you know happy which I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, I'm happy with that, but I'm just like, eh, like you know, I I kind of wished Historia was you know a little bit more. I feel like her character was kind of wasted, and it was just kind of you know boring um, to the um you know to the end. And I just really wish they would have done something more with her. I don't really know, but uh, yeah. And the other thing that I did not really like is this uh, final scene with our Rhina sniffing uh, Historia's letter. I thought it was very weird. I was like, I was like, Rhino, what are you doing? Why are you sniffing, uh, you know, um, <laughs> Historia's letter? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it was really weird. I just don't understand it. Um, but uh, yeah. And then, um, and then John and Connie, I thought that, you know, the ending of their characters were very just, like, left up in the air, and it was just kind of like, eh, like, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of characters were left up in the air, and the show kind of just ended, and, uh, then, um, you know, Aaron was buried um, at the tree, and Mikasa like goes there and you know puts flowers there, and he's um, and uh, she doesn't really forget about him or anything like that. And I've heard that like John uh, gets with Mikasa at the end, and they do have a child. Um, I've heard about that. And I was like, I don't know about that. I didn't really like that or anything like that. It seems kind of weird that, um, you know, at the end of all this, it was, uh, you know, John and Mikasa that got together. And it was like, you know, they, um, and, you know, Mikasa never really forgets about Eren. She still loves Eren and everything like that. And, uh, you know, and they're together. It just seems a bit weird. Um, and uh, the ending, uh, you know, seems a bit weird because uh, if you see the credits, uh, you see, um, you know, them, um, the um, the buildings and everything that they created uh, all get destroyed um, but like it seems like it's um, way in the distant future I'm not too sure maybe someone can explain it to me um, but like I'm assuming um, that like um, like that's like a way into the future and they wouldn't um, the person the people who knew about the rumbling wouldn't really uh, care about what happened back in the past so I don't know it was a very weird ending uh, to this all but um, I really enjoyed uh, you know um, the first half of this episode the first half of the episode where there was a lot of action and everything like that and uh, the uh, team was going up against Eren and they were trying to destroy him and everything like that and kill him because you know Aaron was trying to destroy the world and it was a really you know action-packed episode and I really enjoyed that part but I will admit that these uh, three parts are really are really you know kind of pull it down from being uh, you know a masterpiece or anything like that and the ending kind of uh, leaves a bad taste in your mouth I guess you could say but uh, yeah um, but I will admit that I um, have enjoyed my time with Attack on Titan. It's been a series that I've been, uh, you know, watching. Um, you know, from the very start, I've, uh, you know, I watched season one when it came out. Um, you know, I was there when the first episode came out, and it shocked everyone. Um, and it's been a very, you know, long and exciting ride um, with Attack on Titan. And it's like, um, it's like Naruto. I was a big Naruto fan, and when that ended, I was a very like. Uh, uh, you know, um, I, I was very like, what the hell? Like, you know, um, with that ending because of what, and with what happened to, uh, you know, Naruto's ending with the Kaguya and everything like that. Naruto's ending was not what I wanted, and it was, uh, and, and it left a very, very bad taste in your mouth. And the same thing goes for Attack on Titan, um, where it kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And I'm just like, eh, I, this is not really what I wanted, but I can also respect, um, you know, um, the awesome. I'm um, the author, and uh, you know, and uh, and you know, kind of see where he's coming from, and uh, you know, and respect the series and what it's done for the anime and manga community, um, and um, and you know, anime um, in general, um, and it's done a lot. Like I um, mean, you know, Attack on Titan has like. Um, inspired so many people and it's like and it's been um, you know a series that's really been um you know a very you know 
um, it's, it's very uh, a trendy sort of like you know um, sort of like series that everyone talks about and it's a very uh, you know a lot of people are going to pick this apart and you know explain this I've already seen uh, you know explain videos um, of explaining the ending and everything like that but uh, yeah but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, the the episode was great. I'd give it a good solid 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the animation art was on point, And I will admit that some of the characters were a bit left up in the air. And I did not like some of the characters, their endings. Um, but I do like the episode. Um, and I do like Attack on Titan. I probably would have to go and rewatch the whole se series again to really get the full context. But I enjoyed it nonetheless but anyways this is your boy shonen boy signing out you know like comment and subscribe uh what did you think about attack on titan the final episode did you like it did you hate it uh what do you think about some of the characters and where um you know how they sort of ended up and uh you know what um what how would you have liked the series to end and uh you know and what uh and how do you think they should have done it um put your thoughts in the comment section down below and until next time i'll talk to you guys later and have an awesome day